We all lived under threat due to coronavirus. The global economy was crashing. This could be attributed to the fact that people were only buying essential things. Experts predicted that the delivery business during COVID-19 will likely grow as it has never before. Market dynamics changed as people were not allowed to go outside and the IT industry introduced a work from home policy. Here, digitalization helped a lot to cope with the situation. With social distancing in force, one would quickly conclude that all sectors of the economy were bound to suffer and experience a drastic decline in operation and patronage. This was not the case for the logistics and e-delivery industry. Globally, as mobility services stopped and states enacted lockdown measures, rates of internet penetration accelerated and mobile data usage increased. People began to look for fast and simple ways to continue with life despite the restrictions. I am Wachuku David. Today on Business Forensics, we will be looking at a Nigerian ride-hailing business that was able to overcome the challenges that came with the pandemic by shifting to last mile delivery. They harnessed the surge of demand and strategically positioned themselves to reach those that were in need of a provider to be the last connecting link in their supply chain. Doorstep deliveries are becoming popular these days. GoCada was created to make the lives of Nigerians safer and simpler while traveling. They established themselves as a key player within the country's ride-hailing industry prior to the pandemic. However, just as they were gaining momentum in the industry, they were impacted by the motorcycle ride-hailing ban that was implemented in Lagos State, which was their major city of operation in the country as at that time. While also facing the knock-on effect of other COVID-19 regulations, the Nigerian government banned commercial motorcycles and tricycles and major routes and roads in Nigeria. Many people lost jobs. People who relied on them for transportation to travel around the city were stranded. The restriction of motorcycles and tricycles in some local government areas of the state. Like many companies, the pandemic forced them to recalibrate their priorities and evaluate the most important factors for business continuity. Fortunately, the team's resilience made them relatively well prepared for the challenges the pandemic came with. They believed that there was more they could offer their Nigerian customers, including small businesses. So in response to the combination of social distancing regulations and the state's wide band in Lagos, they shifted from the ride-sharing services they knew and were excelling at to something new last mile delivery. Executing the transition and diversification into last mile delivery wasn't easy at all. But with most of the technological infrastructure and driver networks already in place, along with the team's commitment and hard work, they were able to offer essential last mile solutions to existing and new clients. The pandemic, which came with progress threatening challenges, became an avenue for expansion and diversification. This was simply unbelievable. The key to this transition was that they could apply the same business model to build their new offering. With a new focus at the front of their minds, GoCada went from delivering passengers to delivering packages. And within less than a year, they were able to service tens of thousands of SMEs whose businesses were otherwise threatened by lockdown restrictions. By providing a high quality delivery service that enabled business continuity, they were able to ensure that even those without an online presence were able to remain agile and competitive within their respective industries. By leading the operations with a clear vision and by keeping their customers 
front of mind, they were able to complete over 2 million food delivery and e-commerce orders on behalf of over 30,000 merchants since their pivot in 2020. This is simply impressive. In 2020, the number of online buyers in Nigeria was about 76.7 million, with 72% of online customers shopping on a smartphone in Nigeria. The country follows China's 86% and India's 82% in terms of incidence of shopping via smartphone. Nigeria is the 38th largest market for e-commerce with a revenue of 7.6 billion Naira as at 2021, placing it ahead of Pakistan and behind Finland. With an increase of 44%, the Nigerian e-commerce market contributed to the worldwide growth of 18% in 2021. This clearly shows how pandemic affects the online delivery approach and changes shopping habits and consequently how GoCada was able to build systems which allow them thrive and miss the worst of challenges. Doing this, they fulfilled their goals and brought solutions to the problems that consumers and businesses were facing at the time. The pandemic not only changed the way consumers shop, but also how they make payments for their orders. Now, instead of paying via cash, consumers prefer to pay online. GoCada was able to integrate multiple payment options as those methods are safe and there are fewer chances of losses due to fraud. If you are thinking of going digital and want to take full advantage of the current situation, this is the right time as a pandemic has introduced more online shoppers because these days people prefer shopping with home delivery that accelerates the click and collect trend. If you intend to do so, we're left with the question, what should I do? This is exactly what you need to do. Go digital. Quickly adopt digital methods that will give consumers more access and ease to take action. Make orders, specify desired product, track the delivery of their orders, and lots more. Also, adopt a business model and a system that should be capable of meeting up to uncertainties and taking control of vastly changing conditions. Adaptability is key to any successful business. However, a company cannot adapt effectively without listening to customers, noticing behavioral shifts, and keeping up with industry and regulatory changes. Follow the examples of GoCada, which they did by listening to customers. They showed this quality when they integrated all their services from three different apps into one super app. This gave their customers more ease of access and increased their customer base. Online delivery penetration has increased drastically only within a few months globally. The surge in online delivery during the pandemic compelled business owners to upend their operations. As a business operator, it is therefore important to stay in touch with your potential customers, offer them quality services with real-time updates. You can start by making sure you upgrade your website, which should reflect accurate information about what your business offers with product details and specifications. So you do not end up with poor quality services and have customers asking for refunds. Finally, the future is totally unpredictable. No matter how robust and well-crafted your business strategies are, to survive during these critical times, certain essentials must be put in place. Brand owners have to modify their business policy per time at a blazing speed by embracing technological solutions and innovations. This will allow you offer complete solutions that fulfills multiple needs. Go ahead, like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification for more impactful video. Until I come your way next time, this is Business Forensics.